guys, welcome back to another episode of Ideal Tech Talk. Once again, I'm Adam. And I'm Mike. We're here to talk to you about iOS 18. So if you Google tech news or anything iPhone or Apple related, you're just gonna be bombarded by articles from this. A lot Tons of hype. Yeah, a lot <laughs> yeah. of people talking about it, a lot of videos. So a lot of cool features. Uh, usually I'm not too excited or I really put the updates off, but a lot of cool things I've wanted for a long time. So you wanna mm -hmm. kick us off talking about it? So one thing that excites me the most is dark mode. You can have dark mode on your home screen now. You could change your icons. They could just be dark. You could change the background now to be dark. Um, you could also change all your icons to be any color you practically desire. And they all will adjust and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Pretty and then cool. there's also the eyedropper tool. So if you have uh, like yeah, a specific yeah, yeah. color on your background that you like the most, match you can right. match it up right to that and all your icons will sync up with that. Yeah, awesome. And from a development standpoint, it takes about two minutes to implement yeah. a dark mode icon <laughs> for anybody out there who you know, is worried, hey, my favorite app doesn't have one yet. Well, iOS, I think, can use the ability mm -hmm. to create one, but the developers have an option to, to upload one and it literally is, takes two seconds. It's a really yeah. easy thing to do. Uh, something additional to that that I really enjoy that I used to be an Android user for the longest time, something I've always wanted was the ability to have empty spaces oh, on yeah. my home screen. You know, I've wanted that forever. Uh, one of the biggest things that was rough for me coming from an Android to, to iOS was that I couldn't leave that because I like to have sometimes like that my icons at the bottom mm -hmm. of the screen rather than the top so you have just like empty space yeah have empty middle, space in the middle right, yeah i always it. like to have multiple screens with them at the bottom and i can i can finally do that mm -hmm. so pretty cool uh, what are some other things uh one thing that i like also is now on your lock screen you used to be able to just have your uh your like flashlight and your camera at the bottom of the screen now you could adjust mm -hmm. those two uh icons and apps to be Almost whatever you want it to be, you could just press that button and it'll open up like Instagram. You could have it open up like a clock, stopwatch, like your text alarms, messages, text, right? messages. text messages. So more versatile on the uh, on the lock screen now also. Awesome, those cool little shortcuts you don't just yeah. have to. I mean, I love having my flashlight there at night. It's yeah, I'm gonna cool, keep my flashlight right there. Yeah, so. it's really cool. I don't really open the camera from there too often, so maybe I'll yeah, swap Yeah, because that you have the there. option just to swipe yeah, and exactly. open up the camera. So now you could just change that one icon to be anything you want. Pretty cool. Well, speaking about other features, another cool feature would be the uh, send message later. Uh, something I've also wanted that forever. That pretty cool. I used to utilize that all the time. I was always a night owl. Sometimes something would pop in my head in the middle of the night and I didn't want to text somebody. So yeah. I'd always send it later on my other devices, my other OSs, but now finally on iOS, it's integrated. I can do it. That and I feel like for like managers and stuff like that, yeah, it's gonna be a very useful tool. Exactly, I feel like it's a game changer for communication. Definitely. Uh, the password app, that's neat. They just mm -hmm. kind of combined all the features and made it its own separate app, yep. which you can hide off your like app screen, your home yep. screen, and everything. Home screen. You just have it in the background still. Yep. And what else? So they have uh, the new calculator app, right? Oh, the calculator app. You that's know, awesome. Talk a little bit about that. So now they have the normal mode, they have the scientific mode, and then now you can also just write in like four plus four equals and it'll solve yeah. it for you. Really cool, like you can use your stylus or your finger, yeah. physically write out the math problem like you're drawing on the screen. And that works for iPads also. Yeah, really neat feature. That's probably, That's I didn't neat. expect that. Good for schools yeah. and stuff. When they first displayed that, they did it on an iPad and I didn't expect it coming to the phone, but yeah. there it is on the phone. But yeah, all these great things, but there's a little bit of a controversy uh, surrounding this phone because the main selling point, as we love to talk yep. about on this show, uh, is AI. And that was the main selling point for that. That's what everybody was hoping was gonna drop right off the rip, and it didn't. And it's gonna be a beta come next month, October, and then uh, maybe, so far, a full release sometime next year. Yeah, so uh, one of the biggest selling points on the phone was that AI feature, one of the biggest upgrades. And we're looking at a year minimum delay here, possibly longer. It's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, only I really- I uh, excited for that. Yeah, only gonna be available for English right now as well. Oh, yeah. So I know if you're in a non-English speaking country, that's definitely a bummer. It's probably gonna be a lot longer mm -hmm. for localized support. And then Europe in particular, I know with the EU, they have a lot of privacy laws around AI and information yeah. gathering. So, so they might not get it for a They might a not bit. get it for a long time, you know, depending, especially when you come down to each country in there and their mm -hmm. individualized laws. But a little bit of bummer there, but there's your little roundup for iOS 18. Still good stuff that came with it though. Yeah, great job. I recommend trying it out. If you haven't yet, do the update. Um, not let alone 
the security updates, but all the cool features we talked about. So. Yeah, and let us know what like you guys like the most out of the new update. Yeah, whatever you think is the coolest feature, just drop it in the comments, let yep. us know. We'll have a little discussion. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining us.